Purple Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please Please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Capricorns, this is a little bit different. This is a message from your guides and what you need to know. So let us see what comes up there for you. And I'm going to get all of your cards first before I do the overall reading for you as well. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know for their highest good? What message do you want to send them? What are they meant to see for their highest good? Um, we have the one who guides, the one who becomes. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What are they meant to see? For their highest good what are they meant to know oh they want one more as well okay so we have the one who frees and the one who avenges okay just want to make sure yeah the one who avenges yeah so they don't want me to go anymore i thought maybe they want me to cross it with another card but they said no uh so let us move forward um Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know for their highest good? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. We've got the Death card. We've got the Devil card. Uh, now, just to let you know, the Devil card is not an evil card. It can represent you, my beautiful uh, Capricorn, because it is a Capricorn uh, card there. But we will clarify it when we get there. Um, we've got the Empress card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Oh, okay. And we've got the sun. So very positive outcome uh, energy there. Um, they're basically showing me about um, the revenge card. Um, when you live a life of prosperity and goodness, that is revenge enough to show uh, all those naysayers out there that uh, you are going to be a force to be reckoned with. I mean, just as I say that, you've got the, the king of wands there. Uh, so this is about you being successful and anyone who um, did you wrong, sort of watching you be successful and thrive, uh, they're going to be on the sidelines watching you rise is what they're indicating there. That is uh, success enough. Uh, thank you so much. For, uh, sorry, that is revenge enough is what they're indicating. Uh, we've also got the chariot card, which is victory um, and success as well. Now, let us start at the very beginning. This is a beautiful deck here, uh, the El Key Oracle deck um, by Melanie Delon and Arwen Lynch Poe. Uh, each of them are feminine characters, male or female. This is not a gender specific reading. So although it says she who guides, I'm going to say the one who guides, okay? Um, so it says new path guide renewal. As soon as I touch this card, I see you being a boss. I see you being someone who is a leader, especially with that King of Wands energy as well. You're capable of leading uh, people um, with your courage, with your tenacity, with your drive, your ambition. Uh, so you're the sort of person who can guide people to what is right or what is right for them. You've got really good guidance skills. You're the sort of person who gives really good advice as well. Um, so. But they're indicating here, sometimes take your own advice, my beautiful Capricorn, especially when it comes to confidence, because sometimes you may uh, doubt your path a little bit or doubt your wonderful self sometimes. We will get to it in a moment, um, but they're indicating believe in yourself uh, and you shall achieve whatever it is you set out to do. But also you're not afraid to embrace new opportunities or new paths. You're always seeking. So I feel like you're always moving forward. How can I do this better? How can I streamline my energy? How can I work smarter and not harder? You need a lot of freedom in your life. Even though you're willing to put in the hard work and you're very grounded, 
and you have a plan and you're very practical about that plan, you're capable of great success, you need to have an element of freedom as well to be able to operate within a certain set of guidelines is what they're indicating. Um, now also they're indicating, um, make sure you, you take some time out to rest and recuperate, okay? Because they're also renewal energy. Um, they're indicating, make sure you're not trying to do everything all of the time, burning the candle at both ends. Just make sure that um, you get some time for you and some, because when everybody, okay, I understand what they mean now. Thank you so much, I'm sure grateful. What they're indicating is that when you're the sort of, almost like a linchpin, either in a, a, a friendship unit or a family unit or uh, in a love relationship, um, your advice is very important. You're, you're very uh, good at giving uh, advice to help other people and people will keep coming and coming and coming, you know, um, for more and more advice, etc, etc. They're just indicating, watch that you don't have people who are always just coming to receive from you. Um, make sure you get a reciprocal energy that they give back. Uh, and not that you give to receive. I always say this, you don't give to receive, but you always know when there's that one person, you don't hear from them for years. And then they pop out of the um, out of nowhere and be like, hey Capricorn, uh, how are you doing? You know, it's great. Um, so anyway, I was wondering if you could help me with this. And you're like, whoa, you, you, didn't, res you didn't respond to my last message. You didn't, uh, you know, I haven't heard from you in ages. And they're just popping out because they need something. So just be a little bit mindful of that energy, okay? Because people tend to um, be like energy vampires sometimes, especially to people who give, and you are a giver, my beautiful Capricorn. Uh, sometimes you may over give a little bit, just be mindful of that, especially in love relationships. They're showing me here that sometimes you overcompensate in love relationships. You give your heart, your soul, sometimes your money, you're very good at treating the person that you love. Now, not everybody gets into your heart, okay? So you are discerning about the people that you let in, but just make sure when it comes to giving, um, make sure it's reciprocal, that you're not always just giving your love, your care, your devotion, and your money, and things like that to situations that you feel there's no exchange that is healthy exchange for you. Okay, I hope you understand what I mean. Um, we got the uh, transformation card there, the death card. So this is about you being very, very flexible, even though you're an earth element and that sometimes can be grounded or rooted and stubborn in its energy. And you know, we all can be stubborn. They're indicating that you do have moments of being stubborn, sticking, you know, almost like uh, digging your heels in sometimes in life. We all do it. So I'm not pointing a finger at you, my beautiful Capricorn, but there's good stubbornness which can be called tenacity, drive, intention, focus, or there is bad stubbornness, and which is about sulking or being a little bit moody or feeling like you don't get your own way. We've all got it, but they were just indicating here um, that you're actually very flexible, um, that you are able to transform with the changes. Uh, you are someone who... Um, is inspired to actually rejuvenate your energy and your your path, your process. So even if, for example, you're in a job for a long period of time, you may always feel that urge or have that itchy feet kind of energy where you want to shake up the energy for a little bit more excitement. You may not actually do it, but you're yearning. They're giving me a yearning energy. Um, I, I do feel like, you know, traveling and seeing the world, curiosity is important to you, is what they're giving me. But I feel... It's almost like you come to the end of a road in a career or something where you're like, oh, this is weighing me down now. I've done everything. It's almost like as soon as you reach a glass ceiling, for example, in your career, um, you want to smash right through it. You're not happy with just the bare minimum, okay? Because you're willing to put in the hard work. You're willing to get to where you want to go. So if anyone puts a glass ceiling on you, you smash right through it. You consider your options and then you're off. So I feel like you do get itchy feet because you want to elevate, you want to rise in life, okay? You know, the, this is the death card, which means you're capable of making big changes in your life in order to rebirth or transform or rise. You know, the, the Scorpio energy with that death card is about rising from the ashes. So even when things are not going your way, you, man, you manage to find a solution to rise up in your energy and find a way to succeed. Um, even against people who say, oh, you can't do this, Capricorn, nobody's done that before, you're like, 
watch me. I'm going to do it. It's almost like it fuels your your ambition in order to achieve. Um, also, just be a little bit mindful about, uh, you know, cultivating your world. And by that, I mean um, anything that's stagnant or anything that makes you feel it doesn't fit in your world, just release it. You know, you you're not you don't tend to be a sign that looks back so i feel if there's anything weighing you down make sure you just cultivate your world by um it's almost like pruning you know you just get rid of the dead wood in life in order to lighten your load and move forward okay um they're also telling me how um powerful you are you are a natural born leader you are someone who is going to be very very successful in life i mean this King of Wands there, even though it is an Aries energy, this tells me about your power, your initiative, your leadership skills. Uh, you're someone who, um, you're someone who can motivate the troops as it were. And that's why we've got the advice card that goes there as well. So you're someone who can guide people in a passionate way. Um, but you're honest with it as well. Um, they're also indicating that you're very bold. So um, if there's something you want to do, you set it, your intention and you achieve it. You go out there and, and do it, okay? Um, this also tells me that you've come to this lifetime uh, with ex a lot of experience. You live life on your passions, but you're not the sort of person to just live on passion alone or dreams alone. You're someone with a plan. You're someone who always formulates a plan. Uh, because we've got the Empress card there, it's almost like you've done the preparation. You've done the prep work. Sorry, I just need to itch my knee there. <laughs> uh, you've done the prep work. So you're someone who's got a solid foundation um, and then you go off and achieve it. Uh, also, the King of Wands is, uh, you know, you march to the beat of your own drum. Literally what that card is doing right there. So you're a nonconformist. People, it's, it's, you're not a people pleaser, okay? If someone has an expectation and people put expectations on you, it's almost like you want to do the opposite. Uh, not because that's... It, it's, it's almost like that's a stubbornness, okay? You don't conform to people's expectations because you want to live life on your own terms, which is wonderful, but some people may misconstrue this as stubborn, especially when they're trying to give you some advice, okay? Um, but I feel like you'd only take advice, of course, if you ask for it. Um, now, they're also indicating here that you, um, I feel like you will have a couple of streams of income because they're showing me the king of wands, something that, you know, really sets your soul on fire, something you feel very, uh, is very interesting that you want to achieve. And then I feel like you're curious about other things because you need stimulation. Uh, so, you know, especially with the two of pentacles here, that tells me that you uh, tr tried uh, many forms of income. For example, you may have a couple of jobs on the go, maybe to even create some sort of passive income. Uh, but I feel like it's not really passive because you've worked really hard to put it in motion at first. You've put, you know, you've worked really hard behind the scenes to set something up so that money comes on in as, uh, you know. So I do feel like you're going to be very financially, um, you know, lots of fingers and lots of pies making money work for you rather than you having to work for the money. I feel like you're someone as well who... Um, one of your uh, thought process, and I mean, it could be everybody's thought process really, but it's about retiring early by making, capitalizing on finances uh, early on in life. That's what I'm getting with this, okay? You wanna be able to enjoy the money whilst you can, rather than be like, oh, and then I retired at 65, 75, whatever it is, and then um, I start living uh, or enjoying my uh, travel, things like that. You're the sort of person who has to do this now. You wanna be living and enjoying life now okay um now sometimes the king of wands energy can be someone who has a lot of vitality and motivation to live the good life and that's definitely something i feel here um they they're indicating here with the king of it's interesting because you got the, the king of wands here and sometimes this can also connect to um you having uh, built confidence over many many years you weren't always this confident but i feel like you're gaining that confidence that momentum that empowerment and that's really important um but don't close yourself off to new ideas which i don't think you are but they're just giving it as a a little like a piece of advice here because they're indicating that you're capable of making a lot of money, a lot of finances, and being very, very successful. The chariot card tells me that you're, you know, successful. You're on the move. You're on the up. You're elevating. Um, you're climbing the ladder of life, as it were. 
um, but I feel like later on in life you're going to have even more ideas that sort of formulate and will push you out of your comfort zone and will actually be very very lucrative okay um, but natural born leader someone who influences a lot of people as well you have the power to leave like a group of people inspired to sort of take charge of their own life because you're the sort of person who takes charge of your own life and shows the initiative okay now we've also got the one who becomes so as i said you work really hard throughout your life and you're always becoming you're the sort of person who's curious about life who is always trying to better yourself enhance yourself whether it is in terms of career whether it is in terms of health you know i feel like you're always trying to better yourself uh, you're not in competition with anybody else is what they're indicating i feel like you're in competition with yourself always trying to improve on yourself which is a wonderful state to be in just don't let it become an obsession because we got the devil card right there, okay? I'm going to pull a card on that devil card just to see what that's about for you. It says here, metamorphosis transcend journey. So I feel like you will have, as I said, many streams of income as you get older. Um, and I feel like you will... I mean, you're the sort of person, even though you're very, very grounded in your energy and you find stability in a job, you may, like, take... A freelance job from time to time that's what I, I get just to shake up the energy and feel a little bit more inspired um, because you don't like to be stuck in a rut okay um, also as you can see this this card um, she's pointing to her head and it's illuminated so I feel like you've got a lot of great ideas you're very uh, in, intelligent and you're very talented at what you do you're literally the master of your craft and you inspire others you're someone who's got so much talent so much um, originality you're someone who you know you think outside the box is what they're indicating and because you do that um, it allows you to live life in a very different way than other people um, also I feel like you bring hope to people but the thing is you're a realist as well so you're not someone to sort of blow smoke up people's you know what you're the sort of people who you're the sort of person who's honest who's like straight down the line what you see is what you get with a capricorn there's no nothing hidden there okay um now a lot of people may see you as someone who's just all about the money who's uh just there to focus on career and etc cetera, etc cetera. and it does become a bit of an obsession for you i gotta be honest that's the energy that i'm picking with this card and i will clarify a little bit more but there's more to you than that but sometimes people don't see that or they're not willing to see beyond that. And you may have noticed that throughout your life, sometimes you're a little bit misunderstood. Uh, just be aware of that. Um, they're indicating as well, people don't know how you do it. How do you manage to like do so many things in your lifetime, spin all the plates, keep everything going, be a mul good multitasker. How, are, how is it you're doing that? So you may have some people you find... You may find some people a little bit envious of your energy um, in your life sometimes. Um, you know, let them go, let them flow. Um, just because they feel they cannot do something doesn't mean that they have um, the right to sort of try and crush your dreams or try and be negative, okay, just so you're aware. Now, at grassroots, the devil card is all about fear, okay? So I feel like you're the sort of person who um, overcomes fear. You're the sort of person who works really hard to find the root cause of a fear or something that's holding you back in order to overcome it and release it. Because the devil card, as you can see, there's like theatrical curtains there. You're not someone who likes drama. And also you don't like uncertainty, okay? So that's why you're always planning ahead. You're someone who prepares. Uh, you, you know, you've always got like a five-year plan or you've got something on the go. You've always got something cooking is what they're kind of giving me in the water there um, because you like to have something solid. So um, even if it's like you're a freelancer, I feel like you've always got some sort of steady stream of income going on as well, either on the sidelines or you find a freelance position that is always in demand so that you're always, because you're so good at what you do, um, you're always in demand. That's what I, I keep getting there. Uh, now, some of you, I mean, they show me how creative you are, okay? Because to have a king of wands and an empress energy, that tells me how creative you are and that you're capable of creating great wealth, opportunity, abundance in your lifetime as long as you follow your passions and don't conform to other people's expectations. Um, 
Now I'm just going to pull a card on that devil card because this could just literally mean the Capricorn energy. Okay, so um, I would say sometimes um, they're, they're just giving me a slight energy of control. Be aware, and again, I'm not pointing a finger at you, my beautiful Capricorn. I'm just giving you what's coming up there, and I'm a Scorpio, so I understand about control as well. Sometimes, um, you know, you may, you may, um, you may exhibit tendencies of control, and that's why people um, misconstrue your energy uh, because. There's a difference between power and control. You've got the power. You don't need to control the circumstances. Okay. Um, it's kind of um, what I'm getting there. Can you please clarify the devil card? Uh, so this can also mean that there is an obsession when it comes to building lots of different streams of income in order to make lots of finances work. Don't spread yourself thin is what they're indicating. Whilst it's wonderful that you've got that capability to do a lot of multitasking, don't spread yourself thin. Okay, uh, we've got the Four of Wands in the reverse, Page of Swords in the reverse. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Okay, um, also, when it comes to um, love relationships, uh, they're indicating because you're very independent, you're a very independent spirit, and you don't get into a commitment easily. Okay, um, when when you love, though, you love with your whole heart and your soul. Um, but they're indicating here that um, sometimes if someone hurts you, um, let me put this in a very delicate sort of way, um, you can be quite blunt and cut them out. Okay, you may now, again, as I said, I'm a Scorpio. Sometimes I've had that in the past, you know, where, you know, if I have an argument or, or a separation, I'm completely like cut and run, okay, kind of energy. And whilst that is wonderful uh, when you are sort of cultivating your world and making sure toxic people stay out of your life, um, I feel like it doesn't give you a chance to heal because you're actually just, you may not be even getting closure from those circumstances. You may be like, I don't need that person, screw that person, and you're moving on. They're just indicating that sometimes you push your emotions down a little bit and don't process and it can come back to bite you on the you know what later the more we push down emotion and that wants to come out that wants to be processed it it can be detrimental to our health making us feel low things like that especially since we got a four of wands here which is about separation or arguments okay and we've got the three of swords which is uh, you know, sorrow, painful, separation, and we've got the page of swords. It's like you don't even want to think about it. You don't even want to process it. You just, you know, you're like done, done and done. Okay. Um, you may feel like you, it would be weak to show your emotions or weak to uh, process things. Um, so just be mindful of that. Or maybe you think it's weak to give someone a second chance. I'm not really sure. Um, because we've got two of pentacles there. I mean, of course, if someone cheats on you, then cut and run. But make sure that you process the emotions. Allow it to come to the surface so that you can release and let it go. Leave it in the past, okay? Um, let me see what else is coming out with that devil energy. Because they just told me I'm not done with that card. Eight of Wands. Movement. So sometimes you can live a really fast-paced lifestyle that you always feel like you're having to catch up with okay um the magician it, it can actually make you feel a little bit scattered um it's almost like you may be always on the run because you don't want to waste time okay but you're not giving yourself enough time to um because you may feel like you're always like trying to spin all the plates and multitask but you never give yourself time to process things or um have time for you Okay, so if you're burning a candle at both ends there, uh, they're just indicating make sure you feel fulfilled before you move on to the next task. Okay, because you always feel like you're not quite achieving something if you've got all the things on the go and it maybe makes you feel a little bit anxious. Okay, um, now also you may have this within your genetic makeup, which is you don't like to waste your time and you may feel like you have to fast track things because you don't want to 
have unfulfilled potential left behind, okay? Because you're capable of great success. So you may feel like you haven't hit your stride yet when it comes to success, but you're going to get there. Uh, the chariot card indicates you will arrive at your destination when the time is right, okay? You will overcome all the obstacles and you will be successful. The chariot card is a victory card, but just be a little bit mindful about obsessively trying to multitask or make sure you've got everything going on. Sometimes, you know, you can ask other people to like help out or you can delegate in some area of your life as well. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Um, we've also got that two of pentacles, which really can uh, basically means make sure you've got time for work and play. Find that balance. OK, so if you're focusing on being successful in your career uh, and it, it can become an obsession with you, my beautiful Capricorn. But I mean, if someone cares about something. It's going to become an obsession anyway to everybody. It doesn't matter your sign. So they just want to make sure with that two of pentacles that you find that balance between work and play. Because, you know, work, work, work makes a beautiful Capricorn very dull. And you don't like that about yourself either. You know, you feel stifled and a little bit claustrophobic in life when you don't have an outlet for your energy, that pent up energy. So just make sure of that. The two of pentacles is interesting because it says, you know, it's a card of being really flexible and they're indicating that you're very good at being flexible and doing so many things. Um, in one way or another, you're going to manifest your dreams into the material world. There's going to be financial recompense with this, but, and I feel like you're also very, very flexible. Your guides are saying how um, you're very good at adapting to your surroundings. Um, if conditions change, outward conditions or world circumstances, for example, change, you find a way, you find a solution, a creative solution, um, and you experiment with many, many different things to see what works because you're not someone who allows life to beat you down or keep you stuck. You're always finding a way and that's what your guides are like almost giving you a thumbs up like they're so proud of you for always finding a way or finding a solution to thrive and survive and be successful and stick to your plans okay um also we've got the one who frees liberation unstrained freedom and it's crossed here by the chariot card and also uh, the Empress. So they're telling me about creative expression um, that you, you know, sometimes people may think that you're very outspoken, my beautiful Capricorn. Uh, don't, you know, unless you're hurting another person, don't ever um, stop yourself saying what you want to say, okay? Um, I feel like, yeah, if anyone tries to control you or tries to restrain you in some way or oppress you, you break those chains immediately and you're like, you're done, okay? Um, I feel like you're always compelled to travel to actually, or you will travel quite extensively in your lifetime because you want to see what the world has to offer. You like to enrich your soul. Um, but they're indicating here that the sort of jobs that, or career that kind of really um, appeals to you is one that, where you are allowed to express yourself creatively, earn large amounts of money, but gives you freedom. Okay, you're not this, they're just indicating here that if you want to like fast track and earn money, you may commit yourself to something to earn money, a large amount of money for a period of time, but then it starts to feel claustrophobic and they're indicating that you will then sort of leave that space. If you feel free where you're at and it's a long-term contract, then as long as you've got that creative expression to be your authentic self and you feel like you can um, smash through those glass ceilings and, and be someone uh, in a position of power, then I feel uh, you would stay. Uh, also, I feel like working for yourself or being your own boss suits you better than working for someone else because they're showing me here that an entrepreneurial spirit is the one that you came to this lifetime with. So you may find many ways to be your own boss, whether you take a job that you work for a company, for example, and it's like a a solid stream of income and then on the side you're an entrepreneur and you set up your own business you will be very very lucrative okay um also the hard work that you put in the empress is someone who's already planted the seeds and uh, you know nurtures things to life so i feel you know you are a very powerful creator whatever it is you set out to do you will achieve it and also you're very loving and caring um and to those that you care about the most it's almost like that can be you know, for example, when you fall in love, um, they're just indicating here um, that 
to create healthy boundaries because sometimes you give so much in love relationships. It's almost like love is your Achilles heel because when you fall in love, you want to give the person that you're with, you want to give them the world. And that means your time, your energy, your devotion and money. So you may actually like spend your money on the finer things in life, not to impress the person of your, your heart's desire, but so that you can have a luxurious time. And you may find eventually that you're always the one who's doing that. So just be mindful of that. Don't, don't always let the person come to you as well. You know what I mean? Um, the Empress card is also you always trying to be a new version of yourself, a better version of yourself. So I feel like you're always improving on yourself. And Spirit also wants you to be aware, your guides in particular want you to be aware uh, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. They want you to be aware of how beautiful you are or how handsome you are. They want to be, uh, you to be aware of how attractive you are to other people because sometimes you don't see it. Okay. And you may have a little bit of low uh, self esteem sometimes or low self confidence, but spirit want you to change that about you. I know it's easier said than done, but they want you to be aware that you are enough and then some. Confidence is the key to your success, is what they just gave me there. Um, now, the Empress also indicates that you have a lot of potential in life to go far. You will go far in life. No matter what it is you decide to do in your lifetime, you will go far. You will achieve what you set out to do, okay? Uh, you're the sort of person who is very, very caring for everyone. Uh, you will actually achieve a lot of material pros uh, prosperity that will give a lot of comfort to your friends, your family. Um, because you're not stingy. You're not the sort of person who would like be a miser and hold it back. So I feel like you'd share with your, your, your nearest and dearest, uh, but don't overshare is what they're indicating there. Uh, you're someone who is um, very productive. Uh, you don't like procrastination. You don't like um, wasting your time. Uh, you gotta learn, uh, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, they want you to learn uh, the difference between wasting your time because you're procrastinating and taking some time out for you to do nothing to recoup your energy. There is a difference. So just be mindful, okay, of that. Now the chariot card indicates success, victory. This is a triumphant card where, you know, you have got a lot of energy, willpower, determination to succeed, and you will overcome any uh, obstacle to get to where you want to go. Also, you have a moral compass. Okay, so I feel have confidence in your decisions. You will make great progress throughout your lifetime. Uh, the chariot card is also about taking action. Okay, you're always on the move. A lot of you may be compelled from a very young age to learn how to drive so that you can always be free to get out there and be like uh, the master or the mistress of your own destiny because you don't like to be dictated to, okay? Um, and they're also indicating that you really hate it when things are really slow. It's not impatience. It's just that you know the service that you would provide or you know what you bring to the table. So you expect the same from other people or other circumstances. And it may make you feel a little bit frustrated when people don't work to your time. It's almost like you're the sort of person who's like, I need this now and I need it yesterday. Or, you, you know, you expect... You have high expectations of people because you have even higher expectations of yourself. Show a little bit of compassion for yourself, maybe for Capricorns, uh, because you don't always need to be on the go, like this frenetic energy. Uh, although you hide it well, because they're showing me that on the outside, you have this sort of calm, cool exterior, almost like you're super chilled. You'd almost like be horizontal, but inside you feel this energy of like wanting to achieve, fulfilling your wishes or, you know, creating your destiny, achieving your desires. Okay. Now we've also got the one who avenges and it says here, revenge outcomes justice. Now I don't see you physically being the sort of person who revenges my beautiful Capricorn. What I see you is living the good life is revenge enough to all those naysayers or all those haters out there. So I feel like you living, I mean, look, she's she's sort of sitting back like, yeah, I'm really comfortable actually. Are you looking at all I've achieved? She's sitting there with a drink, really calm. You know, life is blossoming. The flowers represent blossoming. You know, the candle is like uh, awakening. Um, you know, uh, yes, you work really hard for everything that you've achieved and people don't see the amount of effort and work that goes into having the lifestyle of luxury that you, have achieved already or will achieve in your lifetime. This is about sitting back and letting out or what allowing people to see how successful you've 
become. And that is revenge enough. That's what they're giving me here, okay? Um, you're very private is what they're showing me, but sometimes you'll allow people a little peek into your world um, just to show um, that, you know, you're forced to be reckoned with, that um, you're nobody's fool and that people shouldn't work, walk all over you. I feel like there's that tenacity there. Um, I feel like you've had to be strong because life has taught you to be that way. Um, you're a bit of a firecracker, always on the move. Um, now we've got the sun card. So whatever it is you set out to do, you set out to achieve, you will achieve it. The sun card equals success. Um, positivity. Uh, this is also an awakening. You're someone who leads with light and truth. You're someone who sees the truth. You don't lie to yourself. You, you know, you don't fantasize. You know what you're capable of and you, you set out to do it and you achieve it. You're, you're successful. Also, you'll, um, you're very aware of, um, your personal power, but there's moments of doubt. Okay. So whilst, um, you know that you're capable of achieving great things. You just feel it in your soul. You just know. It's something that you've been born with. You're a natural born leader, as I said there, or an entrepreneur in some way. But sometimes um, there's just moments of a little bit of doubt that creeps in. So just watch that, okay? Um, ha! Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Now, they just gave me, it's really interesting. They gave me a sentence. And I guess it kind of connects to this card because it's like, no guts, no glory. So you're not afraid of hard work or doing or going that extra mile to achieve whatever it is you set out to do. Okay. Um, you know, this, this figure here, like they're emblazoned. So they're like living on their passions, no guts, no glory, that kind of energy. So I feel like you will achieve that glory that you set out to do. Um, you will achieve the happiness that you've been seeking. Um, also the page of wands, they're telling me that you're very curious about um, your boundaries. You like to stretch your boundaries. You like to see what is possible and what you're capable of. So you challenge yourself quite a lot throughout your lifetime. Um, also, I feel like you're bold. You have great ideas um, that will bring a lot of success. You will, I feel like you will, in your lifetime, you'll explore um, lots of exotic lands always trying to find your place in the world, like where you want to settle down and retire. Because it's almost like you're looking at each country as like, hmm, I can see myself living here. No, I couldn't. I don't really want to live here when I retire. So you may look at certain countries as a vacational spot, but deep down you're kind of gauging them like, do I really want to live here when I retire? You're always thinking about sort of bossing up and Thinking about safeguarding your future, that's what they're indicating here. Um, now also, th they're showing me how eager you are to learn uh, in life. You're one of life's students, as it were. Um, you have so much energy. You're a really good friend as well. You're very committed. You're very loyal. Um, in relationships, you're loyal to attack. You know, you, there's a lot of fidelity that I'm picking up here. Also, you're very supportive of other people's dreams. You raise them up. Uh, you're very original is what they're indicating you're, you're, you stand out from the crowd you just can't help it so um don't ever dull your shine for anyone my beautiful capricorn but if for example say for example uh you know there were two people in a line with you and someone came along and says hey you three capricorn and you other two you need to stay right there okay because i said so you just got to stay there you know the other two people may stay exactly where they were told to stay, but you'd be like, hell no, I'm going to like, who, who are they to tell me what to do? You'd be really curious. You'd explore movement or you'd explore moving out of um, where they told you to stand. You'd be, you'd be very curious. You're the sort of person who asks why. You're that person who questions everything is what they're indicating. Why? Why should I not do that? I can do that. Why, why, why can you tell me like, why would you tell me I can't do something? It's almost like you set out to prove, um, not to others. You set out to prove to yourself that you can and you do. You actually achieve, okay? Um, you're very explorative. Explorative. Yeah, that's the word they're giving me, explorative. So um, you like to explore what life has to offer. 
and active. You need to be on the go. You're always someone who needs to be on the go. You've got lots of ideas, lots of new projects on the, you know, you're always on the move. Um, lots of, you know, your brain, the synapse is like sparking all the time with new ideas of how to be more effective in life or how to be passionate in life. You know, don't ever tell me that a Capricorn is not passionate. They absolutely are. Um, now, in terms of love, I feel like there is an element here of you being very, very independent. And whilst you don't need somebody, I feel like you do want somebody. So, um, you know, there will be a period when you uh, mature um, that you will want to settle down, that you will want to find that person to walk through life with. You'll ex explore many other relationships during that time, I feel. Um, or you may find that one great love um, but I feel like you may not commit to that till later on in life. It doesn't mean that you're not going to commit to it. It just means that you may um, commit to it a little bit later on in life. Because I feel like um, you've come here with like your life's purpose. There is a calling that you have that you feel you must listen to and adhere to and achieve before you think about settling down in love relationships. Uh, that's what they're indicating for me there. But very powerful energy. Um, you are the master or the mistress of your own destiny. You don't like to be held back in life. You smash through any obstacles or any glass ceilings to achieve and go where you want to go. Um, that's that's tenacity, tenacity, drive, determination. Um, your commitment to prosperity is the reason you will succeed. And you will see tangible success in this lifetime that will bring financial reward, okay? Um, your hard work will get you to where you wanna go. You have a lot of stamina and dedication. Um, thank you so much. I mean, the first card here is elephant and it's greatness. The word greatness, okay? That's uh, how they're describing you. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Spirit Angels. Um, I do feel like later on in life, you may change your um, career path in some way to give you a little bit more freedom. So um, you may stay within the same sector as it were, but I feel like you'll do something different as a sideline that kind of takes over in the end and is much more financially lucrative, just so you're aware, okay? We've also got uh, elephant greatness there, and it says, love is your strength, leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. I mean. I literally said that in the whole of the reading. That's what's coming up from your guides. They just want to secure it in your mind, okay? Elephants, they remove obstacles from their path. They never let anything get in their way. And they are very strong, resilient. Uh, they endure. Uh, also very, em em you know, they have a lot of empathy. So I feel like you understand people on a different level. Um, and you do lead with your passion and with your heart. You care a lot about people. Also, um, interesting, thank you so much, I'm sure grateful. Uh, I do feel like you are the sort of person who um, gives a lot of your energy or your charity, maybe even financial charity, to um, helping animals, uh, especially animals. I don't know why I'm drawn to the tusks here. Uh, maybe something to do with ivory. So perhaps you uh, campaign against um, animals being used for their resources. Um, of what they can give humans. Uh, that's just coming out there, maybe like elephants, rhinos, things like that. Uh, I'm not really sure why that's coming up, but it must resonate with someone out there. Um, you have a, an infinity with animals. Animals actually really vibe with you as well. There's a deep connection between you and, and nature and the animal world. Uh, so you may have found that. Uh, we've got butterfly rebirth. So always transforming yourself to be uh, you, to become, to be you know better than you were yesterday. And it says here, you can reinvent yourself, open to the rewards of change. You have brilliance to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. So uh, they, they, that's that sort of revamping your energy all the time. Someone who is, uh, you know, reinventing how to get to where you want to go or reinventing yourself through healthcare routines, um, healthier diets, exercise, getting enough sleep, things like that. Because that's when you hit your mark and make your mark in the world because you're reaching your true potential uh, by putting your own needs first, making sure you're healthy before you take action in other areas of your life. And remember, peacock, vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire. And you got the king of wands there um, and you got the sun, which is a standout from the crowd. Um, and it says, practice humility to avoid jealousy. I think I mentioned it, some people being a little bit envious of you uh, that came up with that devil card energy. Just be mindful, you know, about 
Sometimes people see what you've got and like, damn, Capricorn's got all that, but they don't see the hard work behind it, the effort it took you to get there in the first place. It's like a swan, so graceful, so beautiful on the surface, but underneath the, the little feet are going like crazy to sort of guide them throughout the water. So you make things look effortless, but people start to feel a little bit envious of that. So just be mindful, okay? It says, be grateful for life and more good things will come. Be true to yourself and recognize your brilliance. So important. These words, greatness, brilliance, recognize it. They want you to be aware of what you're capable of achieving, okay? Believe and you shall receive. Uh, you can achieve anything you set out to do. My beautiful Capricorns. Um, now, I'm just going to go and get any final advice before we close the reading for you. Thank you so much. They wanted that one. Uh, can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What else are they meant to see for their highest good? What are they meant to know? Can you please guide them? What are they meant to see? What do you want to tell them? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide? Okay. So we have roadmap. Okay, you're always on the move. That's why we've got that roadmap. Okay. Now, we've got roadmap and it says, some steps can't be predicted. Allow life to show you the way. So that's what I was talking about, that control. Uh, sometimes, you know, um, you know, you don't have to do it all, my beautiful Capricorn. You can allow the universe to show you, but also you can delegate energy as well uh, or things. You don't have to always do everything by yourself or be spinning all the plates all the time because you just burn yourself out. It says life path proceed lost the unknown. Okay, you're the sort of person whenever you feel lost, you make sure you find a solution. Uh, but I feel you are on the right track and I feel like you're destined for great things. You're always moving forward. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of progress in your world. Um, get comfortable with uncertainty. Even though you're very flexible, um, I know you need to have some sort of grounded energy there, but I mean, the world is a very unpredictable place. And I feel like you're, you are intelligent, talented enough, and flexible enough to sort of roll with the ups and downs of life. You always find a solution. You always find a way. And we've got primal and it says here, this primal drive holds the key to winning the object of your desire. Raw feelings, predator versus prey, force. And, you know, I think I already said in your reading, you're forced to be reckoned with. Having a king of wands with that primal energy means you've got that pa passion, that tenacity to get to where you want to go and to enter into any relationship that you set your heart on. So, you know, always lead with that um that primal desire, basically that's about your intuition. Lead with your intuition, lead with your heart, your passion, and it will never lead you astray. Also, we've got seeking. So uh, you're always propelling like onto the next, onto the next, seeking energy. What you are seeking is seeking you at this moment. Research, questing, after the truth, the chase. So whatever it is you're curious about, whether it's a new idea, whether it's a new path, uh, it will become available to you because you actually align yourself with your intentions and you're capable of creating it in the physical world. So um, it requires your focus. Uh, just beware of like distractions, things like, I don't know, uh, distractions that like drama, if someone brings drama into your world uh, that you, you know, cut that sort of thing out. Uh, make sure you focus on the things that you need to or want to achieve. It says force, no matter how concealed, begets resistance. And that's what I was talking about right at the beginning of your reading. You can't ever force a Capricorn to do anything. If they have expectations of you, uh, you know, you're more likely to go in another direction just because you can. And just because you're like, no one gets to have charge over me. So um, even if you're in a relationship where you feel someone is trying to control the narrative, either being emotionally um, manipulative or, you know, uh, tries to, um, how, they give me the word cudgel. Don't know what that means, cudgel. I've never heard that. So I don't really know what that means. I get the energy that they mean coax, but I've never heard the word cudgel. I'm gonna have to look that up after I do your reading. So perhaps that's a word you use a lot, cudgel. I don't even know if it's a word. Uh, so anyway, I'll have to look it up. Um, but yeah, nobody gets to have control over you, my beautiful Capricorn. And it says, if we wander often, the gift of knowledge will come. 
So this is about you being that great adventurer in life and opening yourself up to all of your visions and your ideas. Um, if, we want, if we wander often, the gift of knowledge will come. So as I said, you like to travel a lot because you absorb the energy, it informs who you are, um, and you like to learn more about the world. Um, also, I feel like it helps open you up to more experience. The more experience you have, the more capable uh, and more knowledge you have, the more capable you are of achieving whatever it is you set out to do, okay? And knowing where you belong in the world. And we've got birds. It's time to expand your wings. No one can bring you down. Freedom awaits, soaring high, thriving. So uh, I mentioned that en energy of elevation, success. You know, you are the sort of person who can achieve that. Also, the bird's eye view is about seeing the bigger picture. You're always planning the bigger picture. You deal with the, de the details day to day, but you're really good at that plan planning, that sort of um, strategy in order to take you to where you want to go. And uh, finally, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? Okay. Oh, they want one more. Um, we have, I am a healer. Okay, so if you've been through a relationship that has uh, caused you a lot of pain, you may be healing right now, you're aligning your chakras, but also your wonderful vi vitality, your wonderful energy, your, um, your grace, your um, ability to give good advice is actually healing to other people as well. So just so you are aware. Uh, your heart chakra, make sure it's always open and engaged. Um, because especially if you've been hurt by someone in the past, you may have a little bit of a blockage in that area, uh, opening up to love, because they're just showing me that you don't open up to love easily. So there may be some sort of barrier there. Remember, it's important to build a healthy boundary, but not like a barrier or a brick wall, because that prevents everything from getting in, and you do yourself a disservice when it comes to love. Uh, you are you're made to be loved. You are you are lovable, and you will be loved. If you're in a relationship already, I feel you know um, you need. Um, you need to find a balance between uh, work. You may even contemplate uh, being a business partner with your um, your counterpart at some stage. Just be mindful that that can cause a little bit of conflict later on. Um, but you know, I feel like it's like healthy sort of conflict, if you know what I mean. Okay, you don't want someone to be a yes person in your life. You want someone you can trust to tell you the honest, open answers um, or opinions. Also, we've got I am a creator, so that really connects to that uh, Empress energy there. You are um, brimming with potential and possibility. Also, I mean, some of you may want to have children in this lifetime, um, and you will find the partner um, that you want to settle with to have that. But I feel this is more about your uh, legacy. This is more about you um, creating uh, your mark on the world, you creating a lot of abundance, a life of luxury, enjoying the finer things in life, enjoying pleasure, um, enjoying the hard work that you have, um, you know, this, it's almost like the spoils of, is that the spoils of your labor or something like that? Um, now we've also got I am supported. The universe has got your back. So whatever it is you set out to do, know that you will be guided to where you want to go. The information will just come to you. If you need to know something on your path, the information will just come to you because um, when you're on your life's purpose path, things get easier. Okay. Sometimes we do get tests from spirit just to see if we really want what we're trying to achieve. And you pass those tests with flying colors, they're showing me. Um, and then things just get a little bit easier. Um, and it's, I am worthy. And this is very important, my beautiful Capricorn. You are worthy of the best things in life. Okay. So don't ever settle for second best. And it's number three there, uh, which is uh, the Empress energy again. So this is about you creating a lifestyle of luxury. Uh, I feel like you will get to enjoy it earlier than, uh, you know, than you thought, let's put it that way. And um, a lot of very positive energy coming out there for you. I'm just also going to get three runes before we close the reading. Oh, straight away. Uh, normally, well, I close my eyes when I pick the, the ruins um, and I have to fish around, but they just gave me them straight away. So this shows me how precise you are. You know what you want and you go after what it is that you want and you achieve it. Um, now, it's interesting. The first uh, one we have is, uh, it's eh, which is a horse. 
This is about progress. This is about future progress, success, movement, always being on the go. And you're the sort of person who is very grounded. You're the sort of person who has a lot of energy to make things happen, a lot of tenacity. Um, you're also very loyal and you, you understand people. Um, so I feel like you're a loyal friend, for example, or a loyal companion, uh, but you always feel compelled to move. For example, you may also be someone who travels a lot in life or someone who moves, uh, relocates in your home um, a couple of times in your lifetime, okay? Um, because I just feel this energy of movement forward all the time. Uh, we've also got... Oh my gosh, this is, because they've, they've given you, like, this is care, which is uh, basically um, wood, it's about energy, it's about positivity, passion, drive, uh, you've got a lot of knowledge, okay, this is also about uh, rapport that you've got with people, you know, you're very, um, a very interesting person, a very likable person, people just get on with you, uh, you're kind of a people person, even though sometimes you may not want to be surrounded by people, um, but they're just showing me how much energy you have to affect change in your world. And you know what, this, this one keeps coming up for everybody. So um, this is ice, basically. So this is static energy. And it's coming up for every sign, which tells me this is a universal energy right now of feeling a little bit stuck because, you know, we've been going through a major pandemic. Things are not quite back to normal. So you may have felt like uh, you were stifled in some sort of progress or you felt um, there was a cooling period in something or perhaps you've gone through some sort of separation recently that has sparked some insecurity or fear. OK, but they're indicating here that there will be progress after a period of um, instability or there will be progress after a period of stagnation uh, because in this particular ruin spread you read uh, from right to left and they're indicating there's progress after um, stagnancy so um, I feel like things will start to move forward for you um, in the near future a lot quicker and you're going to achieve whatever it is you've been curious about or uh, I mean there may even be a new path uh, but I feel um, there's a lot of exciting things to come for you. Your guides want you to be aware, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonated in that reading for you. If you'd like to be on the chance to win a free personal reading, all you have to do is um, every morning when you wake up, take a couple of moments before you get out of bed or sit on the side of the bed when you get out of it and just thank the universe for everything that you have and everything that you have yet to receive because the more grateful you are, the more you magnetize good things to be happier or um, more grateful for. And in the comments box below, just put this sentence, I have an attitude of gratitude and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 28th of April and I'll announce the winner's name in a video upload only. If something uh, resonates in this reading for you, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is actually very important for me too, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.